Hey guys, in this tutorial we will learn a fast and easy way to create grass material with V-Ray and 3ds Max. Ok, so just a quick overview of what we've got here in this scene. We have um, a plane that will be our grass, some object to cast shadows and some elements in between to give it a variety. So this plane is a simple plane with a segmentation, I added a noise on top, UVW map and the V-Ray displacement mode which we're going to use later on. Let's jump right into the material making of the grass. I'm going to use this uh, texture of the grass. Keep in mind that it's uh, quite a um, high resolution texture, so we can get nice details on the material itself. I'm going to drag this uh, diffuse map right into the material and set the material to the plane. So right off the bat you can see that uh, we have some tiling issue that we need to fix, so I'm gonna jump to Photoshop and fix it real quick. First off, let's crop the image so it will be a square. Okay, so now we're going to the filter offset and we need to move the edges about the center of the image. Let's move the verticals as well. Okay, that looks okay. And now with a simple um, stamp clone brush, I'm going to make these edges disappear. Just clone some areas and eliminate the hard line. Okay, so that is done. You can see that uh, we can't see any gaps anymore and our uh, texture is tiled. Let's jump right back into 3ds Max. Let's save it first, of course. We can see right away that our uh, texture is tiled correctly with no problems. Now I'm going to duplicate this texture into the refraction slot and once more into the reflection glossiness. I'm going to reduce the glossiness a, a, a bit by about uh, 0.8. Let's uh, bring up the subdivs. And in the map area, I'm going to reduce the strength of the um, texture to about 50% in the reflect and in the glossiness slot. Now we need to create our bump map, so I'm going to use the same texture, only we need to make it uh, black or white. That was easy. Now let's save it as a separate file and move it to the bump slot. All right usually reducing the blurriness amount so we I can get a much uh, sharper result in the diffuse and in the bump as well. About 0.5 in the bump, that should be fine. I'm going to mix another map with this um, diffuse map. So select the mix. 
and I'm going to duplicate the same uh, diffuse into the second color but firstly let's add a noise map so this noise will be our map that will blend the two type of textures let's make this map a little bit contrasty I want to get nice black areas and white areas okay let's change it to fractal and reduce the size to about 20 okay that's our mask as you can see now we need to duplicate the same uh, diffuse texture and I'm going to change it a bit with the help, with the help of uh, color correction so let's add the color correction right inside ADS Max and make this one a bit um, yellowish yellowish brown and less saturated and I'm going to make it lighter change the gamma to about 1.3 so this is the two texture combined together you can see now without one of them and the blend together let's see the results for now nice so now moving over to the displacement mode I'm going to drag the bump texture I'm going to set it as a 2D mapping that works better for uh, large surfaces and the amount to about 3.5 centimeters the resolution I'm going to set the same resolution as the texture let's check it out not, not bad but as for now the bump is too unified there is no areas that are higher and lower in the grass so for that I'm going to open the bump texture in Photoshop and edit a little variations I'm going to set a new layer color it as a completely black let's reduce the opacity a little bit so what I'm doing here is reducing the overall um, lightness of the texture and now I'm going to remove some of these black areas so we'll get round spot of um, higher grass so I'm just go freely going to draw a black color on the mask and reveal the, um, the lighter map behind it it's very important not to color over the edges of the texture okay something like this should be fine maybe increase the contrast a bit and now I'm going to save it as a displacement map I'm going to move it into this placement mode modifier and now we can clearly see the difference in the height of the grass which give it much more realistic look 
Okay, so that was it guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, if you do, please subscribe to my channel, and I see you next time, bye.